here is headed back to the SPCA for Monterey County to find her forever home. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. Today is a little bit of a bittersweet day for us. We are going to say goodbye to Lisa. We've had her for actually probably over a year and a half. She's a, a foster horse from the SPCA for Monterey County. And um, we took her on because one, they didn't have enough space to keep her at the shelter at the time. And then also we were wondering, hoping, thinking that possibly she could become one of our string horses. She's just a little bit unpredictable, um, very high energy, but a pretty nice horse nonetheless. Anyway, so today we're going to get her all dressed and washed and ready to go to her new home. This is an example of a horse that's extremely high alert by nature. She's very reactive, very excitable. Um, she's been here for a year and a half. <laughs> she's been here for a year and a half and she still gets excited when we bring her to a new place on the ranch. So she left her buddy, her pasture buddy, out um, just about a quarter of an acre away, but she's really missing her friends. So we're going to do a little bit of round penning and some desensitizing to get her thinking again, and then we can get her cleaned up and ready to go to her new home. That's the plan. <laughs> so Lisa is an example of a horse that we took in, we thought that maybe she would be okay for our trail horses, but when we're looking for a good trail horse or a good lesson horse, we're looking for horses that <laughs> after they've been worked with a long, consistent time, they'll be consistently quiet and by nature um, more able to think and be less reactive. So even though we've had Lisa for a long time and we've worked with her, very often, um, she still, when we take her out of a pasture to remove her from her buddies, she still gets really nervous and has a hard time relaxing and a hard time thinking. Um, we'll work with her here in a minute and you can see how she does come down, but she's not, not what we at the Barasi Ranch could consider a really good safe lesson or trail horse, especially for guests who are um, maybe beginners or just intermediate riders. So um, we are going to find her. I know the SPCAA for Monterey County will find her a great home. I hope people are able to watch this video who are interested in wanting to adopt her so that they can see she's an excellent mover. She's got tons of energy. She is smart. She does catch on quickly. She just happens to be very, very high energy. <laughs> but she's proven to be so fun to work with. So I'll go ahead and get started working with her. <laughs> So with Lisa, we got her all the way through the fundamentals so she could do all of this groundwork. She could round pin. She knows how to back. She knows how to lunge um, on a lunge line. She's respectful with your distance and your spacing on the ground. We were able to put a saddle on her. We actually even were able to pony her off of some of our other more seasoned ranch horses. And um, at that point in time, we were thinking that she might actually work out for us, but she just is a teeny bit um, what we call explosive. So she would be going down the trail just fine, um, being ponied off of one of our seasoned ranch horses, and then she would spook and spook kind of just big enough that <laughs> people would have a hard time with it. And I, um, and then we would work past whatever object that was, whether it be the rock. And um, she wasn't able to get past that. If we're training our normal ranch horses, we're going to expose them to everything. So we're going to continue to take them past those rocks and through the water and around cows and um, have dogs run at them and um, deer run past them. And even wild. 
wild hogs. We've got a lot of wild hogs. Wild hogs will run past us when we're out on the trail. Um, so we'll expose them to all of that literally a hundred times before I would ever put someone on them so that I'm 100% confident of what that horse is gonna do in all situations and in all circumstances so that I can anticipate and help the riders who are riding their horses with um, directions on what to do to make sure the incidences are minimal to non-existent. And um, so that is the biggest reason Miss Lisa here is gonna be <laughs> to find a different home. All right, so just to remind her that we're desensitizing her, I'm gonna flog her with kindness. I want her paying attention to me, so I'm not going to let her stare off into the distance looking for her buddies that she's missing. And again, she's had every kind of weird thing thrown at her. I've put tarps on her and um, what else? Plastic baggies and all kinds of things like that. She does quite well. The purpose of desensitizing is that we just want to make sure we can touch all areas of her body with an object that moves and makes noise. Like sometimes we'll actually whack it on the ground. And we want her to just realize that when I'm around, anything that looks scary and moves around her actually isn't going to hurt her. It's really nice to eat. The stick looks terrible. It looks like something we would whack them with. We don't actually ever use it to whack them. Um, but it's an extension of our arm, so it makes it really easy for me to stay safe and also um, just so I don't have to move around as much. I can rub her entire body with the stick and swing, and I don't have to move around a lot. The other thing with horses is that as you, the human, are making yourself the leader, um, the more I can move her feet around me and still get my job done, the better. So I'll move her from side to side and still rub her all over so she knows, oh, I move her feet, she doesn't move my feet. And then I can still rub and rub and rub and tell her she's a good girl. Huh. There we go. She backs with the tap the air method chill back with the wiggle wave, walk and squat at her. <laughs> Again, I don't have to actually touch her. She's very, very smart and super light. Um, let's see, what else did we teach you? Oh, we taught you how to, the marching method of backing. So, so you can just kind of march at her and chill back up. Oh, you're so concerned about your friends. So Lisa does tie. I just wouldn't recommend tying her and leaving her. Also with our horses, I want them to tie and be able to stand for several hours. Um, I know that might sound cruel, but at the same time, that's a horse that has a job <clears throat> and is able to work. Sometimes that's a part of their job. So if we're going out and gathering cattle and then I need to doctor or work a cow, I need to be able to get off my horse, tie it up to a tree, leave it there, and it's going to be happy and just fine until I come back. Lisa had a little bit of a problem with that. <laughs> Sometimes she's great and other times, woo, she was not um, happy standing there. And I don't, our desire is never to stress out a horse or, um, you know, just make them so unhappy. <laughs> So we just knew that we couldn't couldn't do that with her. We couldn't um, just tie her up and, and let her sit for a little while because she gets very impatient, wants to find her friends, and is not happy. <laughs> so when we groom her right now, I won't tie her up. We'll just hang out with her. And we like to use this blade only in the springtime. Right now, because she's shedding, we want to get all that extra long hair off. And thankfully her other coat's coming in and it's already getting shiny. The more you brush them with natural bristled hair brushes, especially 
soft brushes, they get really nice and shiny. The SPCA, um, ours for Monterey County or just anywhere around the country, they're always looking for families who can spend the time and take the, uh, you know, spend the time or take the initiative to go ahead and take horses for them. And like I was saying, it could be a short amount of time or a longer amount of time. But either way, you're really, really helping the community out by giving that horse a place to live until it can go and find a new forever home. So today we're taking Lisa back to the SPCA where she's gonna find her forever home. And uh, she won't be with us any longer, which is really sad, but I know she's gonna find a, just a fantastic home. If you enjoy this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see you back on the ranch.